So, so in relative terms, the, the winds have been much lighter for most of this week. Uh, so that's of course helped with uh, you know not really pushing the fire in too many locations. And in addition, the lack of wind has really kept the smoke kind of in place or in check. And that smoke acts like a lid on the fire. So the lighter winds, relatively cooler temperatures, meaning mainly in the 80s, the smoke is, is actually thick enough that it can kind of cool the temperatures and raise the humidity levels a little bit. So for most of this week, the, the fire weather conditions have been pretty benign in terms of temperatures, humidity, and wind. So the, the first thing is today, Thursday, our, our first kind of change in the weather that we're watching is an increase in southerly winds, not really at the surface, but above the fire itself. And what that'll help to do is kind of scour some of the smoke out and kind of allow the fire to breathe, so to speak, take the lid off the top. Uh, so for Thursday afternoon into Thursday night, we expect to see some of the activity pick up just due to increasing winds up above the main fire environment. In terms of moving forward, by Friday afternoon, we expect a push of monsoonal moisture into the region and that'll bring us at least a chance for some thunderstorms as we get into Friday evening and into Saturday morning. The concern with thunderstorm is any gusty outflow winds that would push the fire itself or create some new fire ignitions within the vicinity of the park fire. So it's only August 1st today and as we look forward in time, we're really just entering the peak of fire season in California. Uh, the, the forecast for next week calls for continued warming and drying. What that means is about 100 degrees or even warmer for the lower elevations of the fire, upper elevations still in the 80s and 90s, really warm overnights, poor humidity recovery. So right now as we look towards say the first 10 days of August, continued hot and dry and thunderstorm chances are always out there as well. Thankfully, with the slightly more benign weather that we had the last few days, the firefighters have been able to use that as a great opportunity to really get some control line established. Uh, our containment has ticked up to 18% uh, or, uh, or potentially more by the time you air this, and we uh, are seeing some really good uh, firefighting and control efforts. That is beneficial not just for the entire fire itself, but also specifically for the uh, event that we have coming up with the potential for lightning, but just the increase in weather and fire behavior that we're going to see in general. The containment lines that we have, especially on this uh, western perimeter, are really vital to be able to make sure it doesn't continue north into the rest of Tehama County, as well as the control efforts along Highway 32 to protect uh, the communities out there like Butte Meadows.